Hi, my name is Bones. I'm Dr. Pooley's oldest patient. This is a video from Dr. Pooley, a real bona fide doctor, and here he is. Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Doug Pooley, and I want to talk to you a little bit today about the diagnosis and treatment of one of the most common causes of hip dysfunction, and that's pre-arthritic hip bursitis. The hip, as you know, is one of the largest joints in the body. God blessed us with two of them for the distribution of weight from the body down through the knees into the feet. As we age, often hip pain becomes a normal part of what's considered the aging process. But unfortunately, if it's left untreated, a lot of hip pain can deteriorate to the point of becoming an arthritic concern and then ultimately leading to hip replacement. You, this often doesn't have to occur. Although there can be many different and varied disturbances that can occur in a hip, the most common, of course, as I mentioned to you, is the, pre, is the trochanteric bursitis or prearthritic bursitis of the hip. This is a condition that, once diagnosed, can be readily treated with a combination of ultrasound, interferential current, ice, massage, and the right exercise. Hip pain of this nature often develops subsequent to, as I mentioned before, repeated strain to the area. It can happen as a result of trauma, postural alteration, weight gain, changes in function in the knee or the pelvis or the foot, all of these concerns can have a bearing on the development of this inflammatory condition in the hip. Usually, treatment for this condition, providing that there is no underlying arthritic change that has occurred, can be quite successfully completed within a four to six week period. But in doing so, often what you do is you revitalize the hip and, and this in turn helps to offset any of the deterioration or irritation that may have occurred as a result of the postural alteration in the hip joint itself. So I I'd strongly encourage you to see a chiropractor if you are experiencing this sort of dysfunction before it becomes too late. Oh no. Be careful, ah, honey. Oh, honey. here's some ice. Oh, thanks for the ice. Oh. We better see Dr. Pooley. Someone better call the doctor. In closing, if you are experiencing any sort of chronic hip dysfunction, if you're experiencing pain, prolonged pain upon sitting or change of position, if you find that at night you're having difficulty sleeping on a hip as a result of the pain associated with it, then I strongly encourage you to seek out a chiropractor of your choice with the methodology necessary to correct and treat this dysfunction because left unattended, almost invariably, it will deteriorate to something requiring much more, much more intense intervention, and with that, of course, serious dysfunction, disability, and changing quality of life. Thanks. Now that she's feeling better, me and the old bag of bones are going dancing. It's humorous to see her break dance. <laughs> Them bones, 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 them bones